Welcome to iCademy Global. This video is here to help you guys feel prepared as you start your journey with us. One of our biggest goals is to help you guys grow in your independence as a learner and through that we want you to grow in your organization skills as well. So stay tuned and we've got a lot of great suggestions for you coming up. We have seen such power with providing intentional space for your learners wherever you and your family decide to go and learn. Um, we believe here at iAcademy Global that even if you never choose to step foot on our campus or if you choose to come on campus for some of the days, an intentional learning space is something that is still important for you to do wherever you decide to learn with you and your family. We have a Pinterest page that is dedicated to a variety of different learning spaces, but we also have a ton of people with a, a lot of experience with setting up flexible learning spaces. Having that intentional space for your learning time really helps with your mindset when it comes to what am I supposed to be doing right now and how am I supposed to be spending my time. We hope that the things in this video inspire awesome conversations between you and your family so that you guys as a family can really decide what works for you. What do you need as a family? What does each individual student need as, as a learner? Um, and we all recommend a tabletop of some sort in order for you to fit your device and your planner and then a notebook for taking notes. This is something that we are really, really passionate about. And so if you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to ask your mentor. Preparing your learning time is just as important as preparing your learning space. We want you guys to understand what it looks like to set goals for yourself and accomplish those goals as you work through your day and your week of learning with us. We have set up our courses in a way to help you set up planning for your own learning in a way that works for you. We really recommend having some sort of planner or agenda that fits you as a learner. For some families, that means having a big whiteboard on their wall and each kid has different sticky notes for different classes. For other families, it's syncing their iCals all together so they know what's coming up. For certain students, it's having a paper and pencil to-do list that they can go through and check things off. Um, one of the things that we want you to do is to invest each time, invest time each day or each week really planning and feeling that sense of accomplishment of checking those things off the list. If you need any help with this, contact your teachers and your mentor and we can give you some ideas and suggestions. Every single time that you sit down to learn with us here at iCademy, we really want you to get into this rhythm that helps you make sure you're not missing anything. One of the greatest things about our time together is that we are able to check our web mail every single day. And this is where we'll send out, you know, whole group announcements and communications. Each classroom also has an announcement page that pops up right when you log in. And between the emails and your agenda and calendar, you are able to create your to-do list each day so that mom and dad can check based on the to-do list that you have and what they can see on the parent navigation of connections that you accomplished all that you needed to. Remember that we set up our courses to um, be about an hour of work time each day for each course. Now we know that that's not going to be what it is for your kid every day, right? Some people might take a little bit longer, some people might take a little bit less, but we want you guys to be spending approximately one hour a day in each class. And then of course on live lesson days, we want you to be a part of that too. We are so thankful that we have an amazing tech company, Vector, that works with us and is really our tech knights in shining armor. Your number one resource is support through Vector. We have an icon on the desktop that I'm going to talk with you guys about in just a second. And filling out a tech ticket really needs to be your first line of defense with any sort of tech issues. Anything, um, you know, on the outside of computer, your computer or the inside of the computer that needs help, that's where you go. We also have a tech center here at Homestead Campus on site where you can book an appointment and um, come on site with your device. And if after the uh, Vector Tech Help and the Tech Center doesn't work, 
then you can communicate um, anything with your teachers. Um, but really, we want to leave it to the tech experts here. Um, so your tech icon is the first step in this awesome tech issue journey. Your tech icon is listed here on your desktop, your iCademy desktop, and it says Help Desk Support with a green V. Vector is the tech support company that we use for tech help. When you click on that link, you are going to be pushed out to a web page, vectortechgroup.com slash support, where you will fill out your tech ticket. Parents, if I were you, I would save this URL just in case there is ever a moment where your child's device can't even get to that desktop icon, so you can still submit a tech ticket here. Now, they use kind of a fancy terms here when you're filling out their tech ticket. Name of affected user is the iCademy student. Email of affected user is the email of you guys, first at last name at iCademyStudents.org. And then parents, we would love for you to put the alternate email here so that any communication with the tech team and your child, you are a part of as well. At the bottom part of the tech ticket, you are able to describe the issue that's going on with your child's device, do a little triage with the severity of it, and then because this is a web-based tech ticket, we just want to make sure that you aren't a robot, so you might have to do a simple math problem, but hopefully we can all figure this out together. One of the coolest parts of Connections is the webmail feature that they have here. Webmail is located in the left-hand navigation menu with the little envelope that's here. And inside of Webmail, you are able to email all of your teachers, and we already have a pre-populated contact list here for you where you can get all of our information. You can um, link things in here, do just a standard text box um, composition of an email, as well as copy and paste links, images, and embed code right into this email. And this is what we really want you guys to check every single day. One of the biggest pieces of online learning is you get to be an advocate for yourself. And guys, this isn't just about online learning, this is life learning too. When you have questions, advocate for yourself as a learner. Ask us. Parents, ask us. That's why we're here. This is what we want for you guys. We want you guys to feel so comfortable that you um, could teach someone else how to navigate, could teach someone else how to check progress. And the only way to do that is for us to help you build those tools as a parent or a learner here at iCademy. So please, advocate for your learning. Spend some time investing in questions. Ask us. We have a virtual office, cell phones, tech messages, web mail, on-site time. Those are five of many different options that you guys can use to really make sure you're advocating for your learner. We hope this was helpful for you. Any questions, talk to your child's mentor. Have a great day.